Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, thanks for stopping by and um, yeah, I just have a, a short quick video for you today. It's a completion of two partials um, that Betsy sent me and I really appreciate it. So thank you so very, very much to Betsy for sending me these. And both of these are from Diamond Dots. Um, I don't know where she got them, but I'm sure you could probably find them. Um, all right, so I guess, like I said, this is gonna be a short video, so I guess I'll just get right into it. <laughs> So the first one is this one here. It's called Oriental Bloom. And it is uh, a Diamond Dots brand, but it is um, called Simply Dots. This one is called Simply Dots. And so you've got your background here and then you've got your um, bloom here, which is what you diamond painted. So, um, it is called, again, a called Oriental Bloom. The design size is 37 by 27 centimeters. Um, the fabric size is 45 by 35 centimeters. It also has inches down here on the bottom. And it says that the product was um, under license from Shutterstock.com. So these have, this one here had, um, 14 colors, um, none of which were ABs, which I was kind of surprised about with this. Um, I was going to um, exchange some out for some ABs because Betsy was so kind to buy me some or send me some uh, ABs as well. Um, unfortunately, there were no colors in that pack that um, I could swap out. So the ones that she got me, you know what, I'll show you the, the drills that she got me um, when I'm done with this. If I can see where they're at, I, I put them aside because I rearranged my office. But I think that they're right, oh I see them. So yeah, I could show, show you guys them. At the end but um so um i couldn't exchange any of them out because there was none that really took on the same colors um i mean i had some ab's in my stash but really the only color that matched up would be the green and there was so little of it that i was like there's no point in that you know it would have been better if if it was like maybe this this darker gray here you know sparkle that up a little bit like that but then again the cool things about um the, one of the cool things about diamond dots is, is that their drills are absolutely like the most shiniest drills i've ever seen and i don't know if it's the way that they do their facets they're more rounded then pointy. When you look at drills from other companies, they have a distinct, or at least from budget companies, um, I am kind of noticing it a little bit on a, um, I'm doing, um, off to the side, I'm doing a Diamond Art Club as well, and uh, it's a round drill, and that one I think is a little bit more pointy than this. Um, I don't know how many facets are on these, but I just know that the the acrylic that Diamond Dots uses is very shiny. So whatever gloss that they mix in with it just makes it, you know, just that much brighter, shines that much brighter. <clears throat> so yeah, so I'm going to zoom in and we'll take a closer look at this here. So I'll zoom in and we will go from one side to the other. So this is the upper left hand corner and you guys can see how beautiful those colors are. 
And then, you know, so you've got that. And then you, I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to make you guys seasick or anything like that. But now we're more in the center of the canvas here. Coming down to that flower and then you come over here. This is the bottom right hand corner there, but then you've got blooms up there as well. And they, they look amazing. They really do. If you look at the shine on them, they're really, is really nice to see the shine on these. And like I said, with no ABs, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I'm going to zoom back out. So I think, I think that this turned out really well. I didn't realize my camera was as crooked as it is. So, <laughs> sorry, I'll have that crooked. Um, they, it really looks good. Um, I've, they, these two partials that I'm doing now are the first time that I've done a partial that is a diamond dots. Um, I've done um, Diamond Dots paintings in the past, but but um, they're not like my go-to. But, you know, sometimes they come out with some really cool pictures. If you guys saw my, um, my uh, Diamond Painting With Me series on the pirate ship, that one was Diamond Dots. And that is just... You know, that one turned out really amazing. I have a Thomas Kincaid one that's like an autumn one that um, turned out amazing. And then I also have another one that's like a uh, a darker painting. It's called Twister. So it's like a house with like a, a tornado in the background that, t that was pre-framed. And that turned out pretty good too, so... I don't have anything against diamond dots. I just they just don't have a um uh their variety of of paintings of art isn't typically what I would, you know, gravitate to. So, but I've never had any issues with diamond dots at all ever. They they all look good. So, all right, so this was the Simply Dots Oriental Bloom. And then the second partial that I did that Betsy got me is this rose with a black background. And, you know, you have a um, reflection of it down here, which I think turned out really well. Now, this one did have ABs in it, just one AB. Um, it's this like reddish pink on the outside so so you see the AB this way um, coming through here you know just highlighting the rows as you go around and then on this one as well um, I think it turned out really well and I have crud in between this diamond painting these diamonds I don't know how that got there other than with me just moving it around but there we go, cut it out. So I don't know. I think it, I think this one turned out really well. I actually tried to record this one and um, turn it into like a slow mo, or not a slow mo, but a, a time lapse. But um, the file got corrupted, so I wasn't able to upload it. But um, I think it turned out really well. I think it looks good. This one only had um, 11 colors and it's called Red Rose Sparkle from Diamond Dots. Um, design size is 35.5 by 27.9 uh, by centimeters. Uh, fabric size is 43 by 35 centimeters. Um, and this image is under license from Shutterstock.com. So I'll zoom in so that you guys can see the rows and you can see even the drills that don't that aren't ABs are super super shiny this I mean you can distinctly see here I'm, I'm holding it kind of up you can distinctly see that these this line here is the ABs but look at the shine on the rest of the drills it's almost like 
Like, that's why I say, like, with the Oriental Bloom, like, you didn't really need the ABs for that. And with this black background, it really does pop a lot. It looks really, really good. You know, I think it turned out, I think it turned out really well. I like it a lot. And, uh, yeah. So these are the only two partials that I've ever done from Diamond Dots. And I think they turned out really, really well. Where's my tweezers? I don't know why I've got all this crud in here. These, these have been hanging up, so I don't know where the crud came from. But I got it out. So yeah, so those were really good. And like I said, with the Oriental Bloom, um, Betsy had gotten me some, some AB drills and, um, I couldn't use them cause they didn't, not for this, I will use them, but not for that painting because they, um, I had, uh, didn't have the same, the right colors, but let me grab those real quick and I'll show you those. And I think, um, I think Joan from Joan Diamond Paints, I think she got some of these as well. So this is a company called Forever Young. And, um, I found out that they're a Colorado company. And, um, I did open this one because I, like I said, I was looking through to find out if, um, I had any ABs that I could use for that Oriental Bloom, but um, they just didn't, the colors just didn't match up right. So this one does have some samples in it. Um, it's got crystal sample, it's got a metallic sample, and um, an AB sample, which is kind of funny because these are ABs. So, <laughs> so I got a sample of this yellow. That is this one here, I believe. Actually, no, it's a different different DMC number. But they come in the DMCs with the DMC numbers on them. And I'm going to get them out just to show you. Um, I'm going to try not to make as much noise. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, though. So... If you look at this, the sample here, you've got um, a metallic sample here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. You've got a metallic sample here of a square. So it's got like a metallic coating on it. Then you've got, this is a glow in the dark sample. Sorry, off the camera. This is a glow in the dark sample round. This is a jelly sample of square and it's got glitter in it. An AB sample. A crystal square sample. And then a resin sample for their resin square drills. So, um, and like I said, I don't want to make a lot of noise for you guys, but um, what I'll do is I'll just open it like this and I can kind of breeze through. So you've got this, this black, that gray, blue, like a, that's like a purple blue, and then some more blues like that greens, more greens. I'm going to flip it over now. You've got your white, your 666 red, pink, different shades of pink, orange, yellow, purple, light purple, lighter purple. So those are the ABs. I'm going to try to get it back into the bat, the box here. I'm going to zoom back out. Got 
that itch on my arm. Um, sorry, I'm going to try and get this back in here. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. This one back in here too. That one was actually kind of loud, so sorry for that. All right, and then let me close this up. So this was the first box, so round ABs that she got me. And then um, this one here is the same thing, except it is square ABs. And I don't think there's any samples in this one, but it's the same. It's pretty much the same colors, but just square ABs. So I can zoom in and I can show you them through the box. And like I said, Forever Young is the company. And um, they are on um, Amazon. But it's a Colorado company. They It does say that they're made in China. But the card, I have their, their business card right here. So it says Forever Young. Thank you very much. It's not a business card, but it's a it's a thank you. And it says that um, it's just thank you very much. And you know, if you need any support, contract uh, contact us through Amazon. So they must they must just um, they might just sell on Amazon, but. <clears throat> All right, so the next one, the last one that she got me. So she got me the the rounds and the squares, ABs, but then she also got me the metallic kit. And this one actually came with a couple of baggies, but these are metallic drills in here, and they're metallic square drills. And they're interesting, very interesting looking. Um... It looks like there's two bags of each, so um, I think there was only, I don't remember how many colors were in here, but it looked like when I looked at it, it was two bags each of every color. So if you zoom in, or if I zoom in, I should say, so that I'm not making a lot of noise, you can see, actually, these orange ones or brown ones are the best that you can see. So they've got a metallic coating on them, which really changes the color of what they are. The metallic coating, so like this one here is black, but it's got, I mean, it looks very silver on top. And then you've got a nice gray in there that is, looks really dark The coat with the coating. Um, so it looks like the coating gives gives the drills kind of like a almost like a distressed look. You know what I mean? Like these are black, but they're they've they're just silver on top. You know. So I think that this would be cool if you were going for a um, an apocalyptic kind of thing or a grungy look on your painting. I think these would work out really well, which I might try and do because I like apocalyptic, grungy kind of stuff. So I might try and find a painting that I can do where I can add some of these in there. But I also feel like it would be better to do an entire painting with these rather than just... Um, putting some in there depending on what the picture is right so I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna use them but I know I will use them so thank you very very much Betsy um, again she gave me these three here so the metallic the square ABs and the round ABs so and they're from forever young on Amazon so I'm gonna sit these aside and we're going to bring back out bring back out the paintings so that you can see them again so this one's the rose and this one's the oriental bloom 
I don't know which one I want on top. I like them both. Maybe I could have them both side to side. <laughs> there you go. You can kind of see both of them now. <laughs> I think they turned out great. So thanks again, Betsy, very much for this. And I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit, you know, consider hitting that like button. Um, uh, leave a comment. You know, I love your comments. Give me about a week or so to reply. Um, but I do try to reply to all of them. Also, um, if you are a subscriber, hit that bell button. That will notify you the next time I post a video. And then also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It would, um, help out the channel and I would would appreciate it. So thank you so very, very much again to Betsy and thank you very, very much to all of you for tuning in today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.